Did you know that every nine seconds a woman in the U.S. is assaulted or beaten? That's according to domesticviolencestats.org. This afternoon, a 14-year-old girl in Middleton spent the day spreading awareness of domestic violence in hopes of stopping it. Our Shira Matsuzawa is here with her story. Shira? Mark Raya Johnson is her name, and she's hoping to spread that awareness after her family experienced domestic violence and survived. Can you believe it? No. You did it. I told you you could. While most teenagers are spending their birthdays with friends and having a party, Raya Johnson spent her 14th birthday organizing a Purple Day at Middleton Middle School to spread awareness about domestic violence. I wanted to help people who are going through domestic violence and if they've been through it, um, to raise awareness so people know and they know that they can be honest and talk about it so they can get out of whatever relationship they're in with someone who is going through that or if they've been through it. It's something Raya has experienced firsthand when her mom was abused. I was in a um, extremely violent relationship for about eight years um, with her biological father. Um, I was beaten and stabbed and lit on fire and tied up in a crawl space. She was present for a lot of it. One time we tried to, she tried to get away with me and he dragged her back into the house and tied her up in the closet with a jump rope so that we couldn't get away. She used to throw her little tiny body in front of me to try to protect me. And so we really survived a lot together. So it means the world to see her taking that and turning it into this. Raya and her mom have since put that nightmare behind them with the help of law enforcement. They are now advocates of Man Up Crusade, which is a nonprofit organization that takes a stand against domestic violence. I just would never have expected such a like tragedy to turn into such an amazing thing. I think about where we are now and our amazing life that we have and thinking this is all, it's an amazing thing that we went through it and that we're happy now and we don't have to worry about getting hurt anymore or being scared. Raya's story also inspired St. Luke's Hospital and today the Idaho Elks P Children's Pavilion is also holding their own Purple Day and all photos from that event coming up on the News at 5.